I want to share a quick story with you about ingredients and why they are so important. I was on a call with a friend. She had just gone through radiation therapy for breast cancer and we're grateful she is cancer free. But part of the side effects of radiation is that she has burns on her breast. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of discoloration there and the skin is darkened and blackened from the radiation burns. Her doctor, the oncologist that was treating her recommended a calendula based cream. And that's what I was actually thinking about. The active calendula is extremely great for soothing inflammation. And she's like, you know, from Laya, I've been using it for a couple of weeks. Nothing has changed. You know, it's like everything is still the same. I still feel like I'm charred and I'm, you know, my skin doesn't feel good. I wanted to send her some product, but before I did, I said, tell me what the name of the product you're using is. And she told me the name, uh, Calendula is a part of the name of the product. So you know that that's their real selling point. I said, turn around the product and read the ingredient list to me. It had about 5% Calendula, which is fantastic. You know, they listed the actives, but everything else was carboma. It was obviously there was water, not a bad thing. It was petroleum based and it had a mineral oils. The only good thing in there was the calendula. And I said, my dear, I am going to send you some whipped butter because first of all, shea butter will help with the inflammation. I wish this company, in addition to having the calendula, had added shea butter to soothe the burns. I wish they had put in rice bran oil to strengthen the epidermis. I wish they had thrown in a little bit of cocoa butter. I wish they had done a lot more than just put the calendula in a very ineffective base. There are three core reasons why your ingredients matter. First of all, you wanna avoid harmful and toxic ingredients that can do you harm, mess up with your health, your hormones, and your long-term well-being. If you are using products that are not harmful and yet they're not effective, it actually is, it's a problem because you're not getting relief and it can cause a lot of frustration. I know I was super frustrated when we were using all these products and my kids were still itchy and dry. I know my friend called me because she was super frustrated because she has all these uh, radiation wounds and what the doctor prescribed wasn't working. So ineffective ingredients, though they are not as harmful as toxic, they have the side effect of making us suffer longer. So take for example, someone who might have diabetes induced, really dry scaly skin, and they keep slathering in these products that have no really effective actives. They will continue to suffer from that condition. Think about the child who has oozing eczema flare-ups and you're using an ineffective moisturizer, the child is gonna to continue to suffer. If you have burn marks, if you have radiation, you will continue to suffer because what has been sold to you isn't working. And as a matter of fact, I think that's doing harm, but on a whole different level. Ingredients should matter because time is valuable. I know for me, I don't want to spend three weeks or three months finding out that something didn't work. I want to know off the bat that once I start using something, that I will start seeing results. The beautiful thing about natural products is that the moment they touch your skin, you can literally feel the difference. And used over time, the right natural-based moisturizer will strengthen the outer layer of your skin. So over time, the epidemics get stronger, there's less water loss, and moisturizing with a great moisturizer is like therapy for your skin. I can't tell you how many people using really great products, including the Shea Radiance products. I know there are many really great creams and lotion makers out there, and I applaud each and every one of them because we are all serving customers who need what we have. But I can't tell you how happy people are when they see, you know, the dry, dead skin begin to come to life. There's nothing really like it. And then finally, ingredients matter, but they cost a little more. So the reason you can get a cream that makes all these claims and still the cream be $5.99 is because <laughs> 
you're not getting anything else but their claims. If you want a moisturizer that really works, that has the right ingredients, that is going to solve your problem, invest. Be willing to spend a little more for something that is going to solve your problem, then pay $5.99 and three months later, you're still where you were or maybe even worse. Please like Shea Radiance, share us with your friends, with anyone you know that may be battling or have questions about ingredients on their personal care products. We'll talk more about how we can get your skin looking amazing and how to choose really great products for yourself and your family. Take care.